Hi everyone, welcome to a new iProcess webcast. Today I'd like to talk to you about risk management in automotive product development. ISO 9001 requires a risk-based approach to process definition. ASPICE talks about risk management in MAN5 during product development. Functional safety provides a framework for risk-based assessment and determination of integrity levels. Cybersecurity risks and vulnerabilities also must be identified and managed. So, how could an organization define a risk management process that incorporates all of these requirements while keeping it lean and effective? Here are my do's and don'ts related to risk management. Don't define your risks in the process templates and static documentation. Risk management documentation, including risk identification, evaluation, planning and controlling the risks, is a living documentation. Project risks have their origin in the uncertainty present. Instead, do define a process at the organization level that addresses risk management proactively, consistently, and continuously. Include levels of risks and reporting structure. Individual risks are different from the overall project risks. Consider factors such as risk appetite, tolerance, and risk threshold of the organization. Don't focus only on product risks. Instead, define risk categories for grouping the risks, which makes them easier to manage, and for helping the project teams look at different aspects. Of course, technical, but also organizational, such as financial or reputation safety, security, and external factors such as regulatory or customer demand changes could be good starting points. Don't expect that risk management is the job of the project manager only. Everyone can identify, report, and contribute to risk management. Instead, do incorporate and share tools and methods for identifying risks. The Project Management Body of Knowledge book contains a well-defined and very detailed risk management process. Document reviews, information gathering techniques, checklist analysis, critical path analysis, audits and assessments, and more are all techniques to identify risks. In conclusion, a project risk is an uncertain event or condition that, if occurs, has a positive or negative effect on one or more project objectives, such as scope, schedule, cost, quality. A risk may have one or more causes. Based on the risk assessment, all known risks must be accompanied by a risk decision, an action with a responsible a due date and a status. Unknown risks are usually covered by contingency plans. Also, some risks are time-bound. For example, a risk posing toward the start of production date cannot stay active once the start of production has been completed. On the other hand, new risks might emerge based on data collecting after SOP or technical knowledge gathered over time. Always keep your risk management up to date. iProcess can help with guidance and support for process improvements based on ASPICE and other industry standards and models. We are not only telling you what you did wrong, we can help fix it.